Good afternoon and welcome back to our very last segment of Tuesday's live broadcast here on theCUBE from AWS reInvent in fabulous Las Vegas, Nevada. My name is Savannah Peterson and I am joined here by the brilliant Paul Gillen. Paul, end of our first day, you holding up? Are you still feeling overwhelmed, fire hose? Savannah, Where are we at? my feet are killing me. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, we've done so much I'm walking in these 14, days. 14,000 steps already today. Wow. It's not even dinner time. I'm, hey, well at least you've <laughs> earned your dinner, Paul. I love that, I love that. I'm very excited about our next guests. We have Krishna and Samaya joining us from Tata Consultancy Services. Now, I was impressed when I was doing my background research on you all, the Tata Group has, a, has locations in 150 different spots, 46 different countries. You have over 600,000 employees on the team. We are talking about absolutely massive scale here, but today we're going to be focused specifically on the Tata Consultancy Services. Samaya, can you tell me what you all do? What is, what is that team specifically in charge of? Yeah, TCS, uh, first of all, thank you very much for inviting us. Uh, Our pleasure. Maybe the last session, but we'll make it very lively. Oh, it's um, going to be the best I, session. <laughs> that's, that's the yes, best part that's of the day. The uh, from a, a company standpoint, uh, we are a, a 50 plus uh, you know, year old company, part of the Tata Group. Um, we focus on uh, IT services. Um, we are categorized as industry verticals, and we have uh, horizontal services, where AWS is one of the uh, horizontal services that we have. And, uh, when I talk about um, TCS, we uh, focus a lot more on uh, growth and transformation of our customers. That is one of the key uh, objectives of uh, the current uh, company's um, growth, I would say. Um, so that is uh, TCS in a nutshell. Extraordinarily important topic to be focused on right now, growth, transformation, pretty much the core topics of, of the show. I know you're on the hospitality and transportation side of the business, which is very exciting. I, and, and we're going to dig into that a little bit more. Krishna, you're, you're overseeing the world. Tell us a little bit more about your role within the whole ecosystem. Yeah, thank you for the opportunity. Great meeting all of you. Uh, yeah. It's been awesome experience here. Uh, reInvent is coming back, catching up, right? 50,000 people compared to the 25,000 uh, last year. So great to see and meet all of you. Uh, coming to my role, uh, I'm responsible for AWS business unit within TCS. Uh, that means I'm responsible for anything that happens on cloud uh, on AWS. Uh, it's a full stack unit. I have the global responsibility. Uh, that's whether it's uh, applications, data, infrastructure, transformation that happens, uh, as well as OT at the edge. So that's my responsibility. Oh, I love talking about the edge, one of my favorite. Uh, transformation is a theme of what you do. We heard that the pandemic accelerated digital transformation initiatives at many companies. How did you see the pandemic affecting your business, affecting the customers you were working with? Pandemic definitely uh, you know, kind of accelerated a lot of cloud adoption. Uh, right? A lot of companies initially focused on resiliency, coming back to handling uh, the, the, you know, the pandemic, the situation, uh, but it also drove a lot of innovation in the business models. They had to think on their feet, relook at their business models, change the channels, and you know, that continued. Pandemic is thankfully gone by, uh, but the transformation actually continued. Uh, the way that we actually see on cloud, especially transformation, it has evolved. Uh, what we call as cloud 2.0, now cloud is actually more focused on future-proofing the businesses. And the initial days it was more about future-proofing the technology and technology architecture, but it has evolved to future-proofing businesses, that means implementing new business models, bringing in agility, measuring the business value, and that's where we see a significant traction. So it's not about technology then, it's not about infrastructure. It, it is about technology, but really delivering business value. It's, it's about how can I improve the customer experience. Well can you uh, give us a couple of examples of companies you've worked with that, that embody this I can, idea? I mean I can imagine in the travel and hospitality like, zone, I, probably few communities l more sensitive than when someone's having a disruption or frustration within that process and perhaps 
few time periods less chaotic than the last few years. Tell us about your experience and what Absolutely. you've seen. I mean, uh, to answer your question, first of all, coming out of pandemic, right? Um, many customers in the travel and hospitality industry were legacy. They did not modernize for the last decade or so because there were many ups and downs in the industry. So this, during pandemic, post pandemic, one of the, uh, the way they wanted to rebound was, can we do the transformation? First of all, cloud as a technology adoption. But beyond that, how do um, customers uh, derive value, business value? That is one of the key aspects of the old transformation. And if you take, I can give a couple of examples. Avis Car Rental, you know, they had monolith mainframe applications. And um, you know, that was there for almost a couple of decades, right? But over a period of time, um, they were not able to uh, have the availability of the, those applications. There were many outages. As a result, businesses could not do the bookings, like OTAs, customers could not do the bookings. The product, the application was not available most of the time. And it's all legacy, right? So that is where we all came in, TCS. How do we, first of all, simplify the complexity of the landscape? That is one. Then second is, modernize the legacy application. That's the second thing. Third is, how do you scale it? Because everyone wants to go faster, right? How do you scale it? That is where we partnered with AWS as well to um, bring in some specific solutions. One example for Avis is their rate shop. You know, because of the lack of uh, availability, because it's monolith application and uh, legacy application, it was not available. So as a result, we partnered and we brought in our contextual knowledge of the car rental industry to kind of transform, move it to cloud. And today, as a result of it, Avis was able to save millions of dollars from a MIPS standpoint. Second, in terms of availability, that was 99.9% .9 availability. As a result, they had a uptick in the business revenue as well. So this is one of the ways that it's helped. The second example I want to quote is United, United Airlines. Again, here again, uh, we've been present for a long time. We have a deep industry uh, knowledge of the airline industry. So we brought in our airline contextual knowledge and the United landscape to bring in uh, a TCS solution that we developed, it's called the Aviana. It's an intelligent operation solution for the airline industry, which we have developed on, uh, it's on AWS as well, which that is being implemented in um, United. As a result, you know, the ground staff, you know, they have to take decisions on the moment when there is a irregular operation. There could be uh, flight delays, as a result, customers' connections will be lost, Anything. baggage, Anything. right? Baggage delays. So many variables, the How complexity you, exactly. in this matrix is wild. So leveraging the uh, Aviana solution, the ground staff were able to take decisions based on exceptions. They were able to take decisions quickly so that they improved the customer experience. I think that was one of the key uh, successes for uh, uh, United in the recent times. So, that I would, uh, those two are the examples that I would call as, you know, where customers have derived business value. So cloud was not just for technology. They all uh, are uh, deriving a lot of business value as well, I would say. How important do you think it is for companies facing these unique challenges and scaling to work with partners like TCS? And I mean, I'm sure you would say very important, but, but Tell me a little bit more why it's so important and, and those core benefits that they're going to get. Krishna, let's start off with you. Yeah, I mean, let me take again the AWS cloud transformation, right? Uh, TCS has formed AWS business unit two years back. So we're a COVID baby in a way. We've been working with the, uh, uh, AWS for more than a decade, but we formed a dedicated full stack unit to drive cloud transformation on AWS. Uh, in these last two years, uh, we've grown 3x uh, and customers, we have added uh, 400 new customers we have added. Uh, Nicely done, just so want to see you there. That's that, huge, that, especially during these times. Congratulations. So, yeah, it's basically about the scale that we bring in. Uh, what we have done as a differentiation is, uh, if you look at the entire cloud journey, right from taking a decision which cloud is right, all the way to the cloud, migration, modernization, and running operations. So we have built complete platform, AAML-based platforms, where we have taken our delivery wisdom and codified it onto these platforms. So we support around 1,000 plus customers on AWS in varying capacity. All of that knowledge is codified, 
and that is what we bring to the table uh, to the customers. And so it's, it's customers obviously appreciate that value, that best practices that are coming, and coupled with that, the industrial the knowledge that the industry knowledge that we have on banking, you know, life sciences, healthcare, automotive. So it's yeah. not only the IT, it is the industry transformation as well because we're working on connected cars, for example, in automotive. We are working on uh, accelerated drug development platforms. We're working on complete banks as a platform that we have. AW, uh, TCS has built on AWS. So 400 customers are there. It's a complete banking and insurance platform. So this is the, the combination of the technical expertise that is digitized using platforms, mm -hmm. as well as the industry knowledge is the reason why customers work with us uh, you know, on the cloud transformation. So we're seeing, you, you talk about the vertical industry knowledge. AWS is also, uh, also has its own vertical industry plays. Uh, how do you, I guess, coordinate with them or do you compete with them? Or do you, do you stay out of each other's way? No, we actually, uh, Paul, we collaborate aggressively. I like that. Uh, <laughs> right, so it's not... With uh, bigger. With, with, yeah. with bigger. Uh, so TCS supports approximately 14 verticals. With AWS, we went wow. in with a focused industry play. We said we will look at financial services, travel, transportation, hospitality, healthcare, life sciences, and automotive to start with. Mm -hmm. And we have go big plans with AWS, very focused. The collaboration is actually at the industry solutions because AWS is a great platform, ever evolving, keeps you on, you know, on your toes to really adapt it. But that is always going on, the collaboration, but the industry. I'm actually glad AWS last year took a pivot on focusing on industries. Now we talk the same language when we go in front of a board or a CEO, COO, present it, we are talking about the future of the industry, mm -hmm. not just the future of the technology. Mm -hmm. So it's a win-win. You are uh, also developing products on top of AWS that are not industry verticals, uh, that, that build on the platform. What kinds of products are those? Uh, you know, for cloud transformation, uh, for example, consulting, we have a product called Cloud Council. Uh, you know, we have a decision engine on the data side. Uh, we have something called on Cloud Foundation Mason, Cloud Mason. I mean, it's just the foundation, all right? Uh, and entire migration and modernization factory. And the last one on cloud operations is actually Cloud Exponents. So these are time tested. You have Fortune 500 customers using this regularly uh, and you know actively you know leveraging that. And these are all AWS, uh, you know, well architecture framework certified. Uh, so they work well, and they're designed to work uh, on cloud. Uh, you know, not only in the native environment, but also legacy environment. Because enterprises is not just only native, cloud native. There is a lot of legacy. Soumya spoke about, uh, you know, the mainframe so modernization. So We've been talking area. about it. So you, you have to have a combination of solutions. So the platforms that we're building, the products we're building, work in both the environments. Yeah, and that agility and, and ability to, to help customers navigate that prioritization. I mean, there's so many options. We talk about how many new companies there are already every year, new solutions. Our adoption of technology is accelerating. As McKinsey said, we went through 10 years of technological evolution and workplace evolution over the first six months of the pandemic. So really everything's moving at unprecedented velocity, unlike ever before. We have a new game here on theCUBE specifically for this show. And we are, are challenging our guests, prompting our guests to give us a 30 second sizzly sound bite with your hot take on the most important themes of this year's show. Think of it as a, as a thought leadership moment, opportunity to plug if you really, if you really want it. Krishna, you, you're just giving me the nod. I'm going to start with you first and then we'll, then we'll pass it along. Yeah. Sure. Uh, I think on thought leadership, uh, the way that on, on cloud, Business value is the focus, uh, not the technology. Uh, technology is important, but business value is the focus. Uh, and the way that I see it evolving is with quantum computing coming out, more and more becoming relevant, and edge is actually becoming quite active as well. Uh, you know, all this while, 
on cloud. We focused on business value at the centralized place, at the corporate. Uh, but I think the real value of cloud is when you deliver the results, business results, where the customers consume it, that is at the edge. I think that's basically the combination of centralized and the edge is where the real value of uh, uh, cloud is. All right, and, and I also loud, I know you said 30 seconds, but give me 30 I, seconds. I, I like your answer right now, so I'm going to yeah, give you a little yeah, more time. Thank you. You've earned more that. time. Yeah. <laughs> so I, I like the way, uh, you know, Adam said in the keynote, uh, if you look at it, broadly I categorize as two things. There are a lot of offerings that are becoming comprehensive, like AWS Connect, mm -hmm. bringing in workforce management into it, making it a complete end-to-end -end product. Uh, similarly, Security Lake, all bringing in the entire security and compliance under one, similarly data. So that, there are a lot of things that he announced where it is an end-to-end -end comprehensiveness of the thing. But what I loved about is, uh, you know, the, what Amazon is known for, supply chain. Mm -hmm. So they rolled out AWS supply chain offering, uh, walkout technology. So the Amazon proposition is actually being brought to AWS as a core proposition. So I think that's, that's very futuristic, and I think we can see more and more customers, enterprise customers adopting uh, you know, AWS more uh, to drive transformation. Badly needed right now, supply yeah, chain yeah. resiliency. Last, uh, supply chain really having its moment yep. the last few years. File under two words, it's, no one knew, but any of us did yeah. who worked in it before this, and here we are, as soon as we yeah. lost our toilet paper, everyone, everyone's freaked out. I, I love that you talked about business value and also that the end customer is on the edge, and everyone kind of forgets we are essentially the edge device. This is the edge device. Yeah. It's, it's, it's all, around us and, and all the technology that we're all using that you're even talking about is built right inside here from my you know airlines apps, my car rentals to, to all of it. All right, Samaya, give us your give us your 30 second hot take. Yeah, roughly. I mean, um, taking um, the cue from uh, Krishna, right? Today, things are available on AWS Marketplace. So tomorrow, somebody wants to start an airline. They just have to come and plug and play uh, you know, the apps that are available in the Marketplace especially your supply chain, the Amazon is known for that. And Lovely. somebody, a small and medium business, they want to start something, right, a dot com. It's very easy, so that's something that we are all looking for. The future is going to be very, very bright and uh, great for uh, uh, the businesses is what I would say, because it's all, most of most of it could be plug and play uh, with all the solutions. It's already been built. On yeah. the cloud, so we are looking forward to it. The second thing I would talk about is, um, you know, um, we have to take it to scale how more and more people can leverage AWS, right? The talent is very important, and that is where you know, partners like us uh, you know, focus on reskilling our talent. We are 600,000 people, right? 600,000 people, that's basically as many people live in the San Francisco <laughs> Bay Area for context for our listeners. That's that's how many people work 000. for Walmart? Uh, it's it's 1.2 million in Walmart. Is it really? It is, yes, yeah. yes. Done some work with Walmart, yeah. sidebar. So from that standpoint, you know, as a company, we are focusing on reskilling, upskilling our talent um, you know, to work, AWS Cloud and so on, so that they can go and support our customers. That is something that is very important, and that's going to be the future as well. You know, take, bring it to scale, go faster. I love that's that you, you just touched on the fact that you essentially have to practice what you preach, because yeah. you've got to think about those 600,000 people Absolutely. in 100 locations Absolutely. across 40 right? plus different countries. Yeah. I love that. I, Samaya, I'm going to close on that note. The future is bright, just like your fabulous blazer. Oh, thank you so much. Krishna, Samaya, thank you so much for being here with us. We can't wait to see what happens next, who you help next, and, 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 and how Tata continues to transform. Thank all of you for tuning in today. A full jam-packed day of coverage live here from Las Vegas, Nevada. We are at AWS reInvent with Paul Gillen. I'm Savannah Peterson. We're theCUBE, the leader in high-tech coverage.